What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Um, this is the video about our grass panel blinds, and uh, I wanted to get it out before duck season started, but I was unable to. I uh, just had a lot of stuff going on, so it's a little late, but I'm going to post it here anyway. Um, hope you guys like it. If you have any other questions, please drop a comment down below. We'll answer them, and uh, we'll jump into it right now. Alrighty, guys, and here is the uh, dimensions for our grass panel blinds that we made for ourselves. You can see a 42 overall wide, 26 tall, and you can make them uh, whatever size you want, but this is what we chose. Start off here with Uncle Steve using some PVC pipe cutters and just cutting them to the size that we wanted. And uh, he's taking a file here to deburr the edges. It makes it a little easier inserting them into the elbow. Boy, it's That's supposed rough. to be purple primer. I, mean, I, I shake it up, it's uh, 30 mm. years old probably. It's yellow and honestly for us it did the job just fine so we weren't too worried about it. Next we have the glue and this is what you want to make sure that you get a good amount of glue on the stick and you also want to put the glue into the elbow and then once you do that you just insert the two just like that and you can see here now the elbows on the either end of the stick of the PVC pipe and you just repeat that process again primer the edges and then add the glue and then insert the elbow on and you can see here as well because Steve pressing hard down on the elbows and what that's going to do is allow the frame to sit straight with each other that way you don't have anything uh, bending or turning and again, you just repeat that process over and over again until uh, you build your frame to your desired length and height. And there's our two finished frames that we built. And we are going to jump into the other part. Now, here's the fast grass. This is what we used, and we highly recommend it. You can see the skirt of it here. Uncle Steve and Brian holding it up. One side shows the blades. The other side, other side excuse me, shows the... Uh, stitching of the uh, grass and we take some scissors and we cut the rope holding all of the grass together. This allows the grass to stretch more and uh, you can use more of the material. You don't have to use the whole uh, grass panel all stitched together like that. You can actually cut the rope, pull the rope out. You can see Evan, he's pointing here. It's the rope inside the loop at the bottom. Pull it out and then you can really stretch the grass out and you still keep all the uh, the cover. You, you you don't create any major holes or anything like that. You can see them stretching it out here, and uh, much longer from when it's just in a little bundle by itself. And you can see Brian standing behind it, and here they go rotating it over. This is the grass side. That's the side the ducks will see there, and you can just imagine that sitting out in a marsh. And now you can see that we measured it to 8 feet, and we're going to cut that 8 feet in half, and then we're going to mark the center of that 8 feet, 48 inches, and Uncle Steve here with his red marker marking the attachment pieces, not the knots, but the attachments. And you can hear uh, now Uncle Steve explain this. Is, this is the tricky part, because you don't want to really cut anything beyond the thing that's holding it together. You know what I mean? You want to lose uh, Just the red line, basically. more than that no because you'll start losing although that's the part that's going to be wrapped around the frame so it won't be the end of the world but still and there you have it a 48 inch piece for one of our frames that we built to go on you guys make these grass oh, panels you got to make sure that you got some nitwittery boys around here to, to do it with if you want to get anything done some real progress done. we're going to go to the roof now we're going to put this grass up there to start the tanning process on this cloudy day <laughs> <laughs> Here, throw it to Evan. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you have to. Put, he just said, I've got the arm of a four year old girl. What was that? Dive for it. Now it'll go. You can just do it backwards. Dive for it. Pathetic. Like I said, nit wittery. You know, oh, it's, only, it's only much fun if you have guys like Brian this to do is with. the chief nitwitter, though. All right, we're going to lay these grass panels out here on the roof, and uh, oh, no, this is where they get the most sun exposure. And then Uncle Steve's gonna come 
day and day after to spray water on them and that's going to help cure them, help them start to curl, help them start to tan and get to them a little bit more of that natural color that we're looking for. Right now they're a little bit uh, bright, too bright uh, for our liking so we're going to tan them a little bit more and then we'll come back with paint and add some more darker shadows to it like if you were in the natural marsh. So uh, stay tuned, you'll see how that unfolds here. Now we can see Uncle Steve and Evan just laying some weights, lead weights down on the grass panels. This is just to prevent them from blowing off the roof as they are going to be up here for a few days while Uncle Steve is tanning them. Next we are moving into painting the frames. We This is not completely necessary but it is something that we like to do and it just adds to the overall project and the overall satisfaction of the panels. You can see Uncle Steve uh, just spraying brown on the panel and there's a picture you can see let me know if you can see where the pole is it blends in very good and now you can see the the frame laid against the grass and we're about ready for assemble here which is fairly easy so what we do is we take zip ties and we grab the end of the grass and we go over the top of the pole and we pull the grass to the other side of the inside part of the grass panel and pulling it together with the zip tie and it covers the uh, the frame part as well and you just repeat that process over and over again and you can see uh, here easily that Uncle Steve and Brian are working together and just pulling the grass over around the edge of the frame now you don't it's not necessary for the top really it's only necessary for the, the sides the bottom and the top you want to leave straight and that way it gives you more surface area of cover. And you can see Uncle Steve here holding it up. And it looks really good, actually, already, right off the bat. He disappears right behind that. You can imagine him in the marsh standing back there, and, you know, he just disappears. And what we like to do also is we like to spray paint our panels and give it a little more texture, give it a little bit more color. As we know, out in the duck marsh, there's a lot of colors out there, especially early season. A lot of areas would actually have a lot of green already but uh we are adding some deeper color of brown and i think that's just going to replicate more of the natural color of the marsh we're adding some green to it as well and we like to just go slightly at an angle and then kind of reverse back going the other way and you can see it's taking a little bit more color a little more shape here and it looks uh looks really good Oh man, I don't know if I've ever been looking forward to duck season so much. We got enough panels for a 10 or 15 man shoot if we wanted to put them all in a row. Look at that. I bet you can't even tell which ones are the new ones and which ones are the old ones. Opening day cannot come fast enough. Hope you guys enjoyed that video of us putting together the grass panels for you guys. That is probably the most requested uh, thing that we do. Finally got around to doing it and thanks to Uncle Steve for uh, really helping, uh, letting us use his house and his backyard to do all the, the work for it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any other questions or maybe more detailed questions about how we do it, uh, feel free to drop a comment down there and just ask and we'll do our best to answer them. Um, pretty easy thing to do and not really difficult at all so um i feel like you probably get the hang of it i'll throw up a quick couple uh pictures right here to show you what we hang the grass panels on um it's easy it's just those green garden poles that you can get at ace hardware or any sort of store like that and we just get some wire and we loop it around the top of the pole and we make it flush with the top of the pole and then we wrap brown tape only leaving about two or three inches left of the wire out and we just use that and bend it and then that we rest the uh, grass panel on and I'll throw a picture right up here for you too so you can see out in the field of uh, how it works and um, this is a picture from our hunt one of our hunts and you can see clearly how the panel is just being held up by the two green poles and then you would just repeat that process for how many panels uh, you have out there it's about two sticks uh, per panel so there you go. If you guys have any other questions, like I said, please drop a comment down below. We will answer them as best as, that we, as, best as we can. Uh, so we hope you all have a good opening day. We hope that everyone can find a place to hunt. I know it's going to be kind of tough this year, but you know what? Hang in there, stay diligent, keep after it, and you'll find them. And uh, we'll see you all out in the marsh.